This engagement is brought to you by Maple Tree Arts in the City. Hello everyone, I'm Ayola from Visual Arts Centre and we'll be sharing with you two kids drawing and colouring workshop that all kids and families can participate together. This program is brought to you by Maple Tree Arts in the City and we'll also like to give special thanks to all the frontline workers out there. So let's all do our part to stay home, stay healthy and for kids and families out there, do join us to participate in these two very interesting drawing and colouring workshops. All you need is a pencil, paper and perhaps some colouring pencils or any coloured markers and pencils if you have them. Hello kids! Our Visual Arts Centre Art Instructor, Miss Jo, will be guiding you on this workshop. You'll be needing some pencils, coloured pencils and coloured markers and paper. And you can work with any art materials that you already have. Let's first attempt a quick drawing and colouring exercise. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, a few shades of blue, green, yellow, brown and grey colouring pencils. Let's begin! Using a pencil, lightly sketch out a background landscape with a grass field, mountains and the sky. A great tip for colouring here is to apply your colouring following the direction of your subjects. For example, we'll colour the sky and the fields with horizontal strokes and along the same direction. You can then use a tissue if you want to smudge and blend your colouring for a nice blurry effect. Then let's use an eraser to erase some cloud shapes in the sky and you can add some more blue colouring to trace over the shape of the clouds. Next, let's colour in the mountains with some light grey shapes following the shape and direction of the mountain with a nice balance of white space and grey shading that will bring our mountains to life with a 3D effect. Lastly, let's draw out a few stubs of brush and begin colouring the fields. You can apply variations of green to brown shades and even layer in two to three shades of colours for more interesting colouring effects. And great job to you that you've finished your colouring warm-up! So get ready and let's begin! Our first artwork is Whale in the Ocean, a drawing and colouring art piece. Your first step is to draw out the main subjects in this ocean and you can add more sea creatures and marine plants in this ocean, if you wish. Drawing could be a process of constant editing, so be patient and work out a nice drawing to continue your drawing and colouring artwork. There are some message bottles in this artwork. Feel free to be creative and add in any more sea creatures and items that you might find in this ocean. If you have a blue or black pen or marker, feel free to trace out some of the important subjects and waves in the ocean for more effect.
I hope you're having fun in this drawing. And if you're completed with this drawing, you'll see that this is a beautiful artwork in itself. If you have some color pencils, take out some colors of green, blue, yellow and red and let's continue the artwork. A good tip for colouring is to follow the shape of the subject and you can also be creative to use any colours that you like. Continue colouring and have lots of fun! For our message bottles, we've added in rainbow colours and you can add in any colours that you like. We've also added in some shadows which will occur at the bottom of the message bottle following the shape and contours of the bottle. Wow, you've done a great job if you have finished your first artwork, Will in the Ocean. Now, if you're ready, let's prepare for your second work, Three Happy Pigs. You can simply work with any materials that you have, such as pencils or if you have some colour pencils. Let's get started. This artwork, Three Happy Pigs, is slightly more challenging than the previous one, but I'm sure you're ready to take on the challenge. We first start by drafting out the shape and size of our three happy pigs. Feel free to dress up your little pigs with any clothes or accessories that you like. For our artwork, we've imagined a scene of three happy pigs outside their beautiful garden home. So let's sketch out their home and you can reimagine and rework any scene that you like to place these three little pigs. You've done a great job if you've completed your drawing. If you have some coloured pencils, 
colored markers or colored crayons, let's begin to color our artwork. Be creative, imaginative, and the sky's the limit. For your main characters, the three happy pigs, you can use a pen to outline and detail their eyes and facial expressions. Use pink or beige colored pencils if you want to follow our color scheme.
Forget your last step, let's take an eraser to erase out some cloud shapes for your sunny sky. And you can use a tissue paper or your fingers to blend in some colours too. Ta-da! So kids, how was your drawing and colouring experience? We hope that all kids and families will stay healthy and safe this season. And please continue to support more art programs coming your way by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Maple Tree Arts in the City. Thank you! Please continue to support and subscribe to Maple Tree Arts in the City for more upcoming performances.